Greetings and salutations, all of you fine feathered folk out there on the tubes of you. And we hope that you have survived Thanks Killing, unlike John, who seems to be searching for a clue. I dropped the dice that ah. was in my mouth as a bit, and now I don't know where the hell it is. Well, congratulations. That's what you get. I just wanted attention. Yeah. <laughs> Still not getting Classic. it. Classic. Anywho, welcome uh, to another stirring installment of Disinformed After Dark. I'm Shane. I'm John. <laughs> I'm Michael. I'm Courtney. And we uh, have with us yet again <laughs> our esteemed friend, colleague, and otherwise indentured servant of artwork, the bad artist, Jesse. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop laughing at John. <laughs> We all can. Sorry, my life. Yeah. Uh, 119 episodes in now. That's what you do. I think this Michael, time. And were, Michael and I were meant for each other because he's cucked by God and I'm just cucked in general. <laughs> HR cucking stuff. Yes. Well, uh, for those of you who have uh, skipped the week along with the rest of us who are not time traveling this evening, we engaged in a very raucous round of Dungeons and Dragons with our good friend Jesse here recently. And uh, we've got to finish off the one shot quest because we are nothing if not completionists. And even though some of us don't know how to finish. Happens. Zip it, <laughs> You talk first. You lost. Zippity uh, <laughs> zoops. I'm out of here. So, uh, hi, Becky. Uh, and uh, we we got exciting times here for all of you this evening. So, uh, Jess, as the Dungeon Master Supreme here, I imagine that you are going to fill everybody in on, on what happened previously. Absolutely, I am. Um, if you haven't watched the episode, go do it now. We'll wait. I'd recommend it. Oh my god, we made the same joke on, <laughs> on this week's episode. Yeah, just hit Fall pause back. and just uh, come back. Wait. 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 <laughs> Welcome Assume back. that they, they're <laughs> no, done I, now. I didn't yes. want to do the bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did it once. I'm I'm spent. So <laughs> last, last time on um, Dungeons and Disinformed, <laughs> our heroes here, uh, they are sexy battle wizards. They are members of the College of Errant, an organization based in a flying magical castle that roved the land looking to advert arcane disasters and fight injustice. You have precisely zero authority to do this and the cops hate you. You are wanted in several countries for collateral damage caused whilst saving the world. Uh, and for we, bad puns yes absolutely for bad puns uh the party had noticed that the castle was acting funky magic wasn't working right tried to uh woo the castle library in harmony into giving them some access to books and information to try to fix this problem and harmony was being a big old bitch about it said mm. no <laughs> I tried e harmony. It doesn't work for anybody. And it's expensive. <laughs> but alas, uh, y'all tried to go up there and give it one more go uh, to discover that there were elementals in the library destroying it. Uh, after some shenanigans with Slippy, a uh, really weirdly filmed video for an air elemental and banishing a fire elemental into a Taco Bell location <laughs> I don't remember but it was a very specific one uh, um, McClintock and Broadway McClintock and Broadway that's a, that's a, yeah, it's, it might that's still a, be there we don't know it's a scary place <laughs> it's, it's not the scariest sauce. thing there but um, after the elementals were defeated Miss Courtney in the form of Jean Gregos found a book on the monarch of summer and her involvement with the college errant it seems that the college offended her and banished her into the Feywild, and she was responsible for helping teach people magic, making the castle fly. She also built the Inner Sanctum, which upon learning this, uh, Jean picked up all the boys and <laughs> much to 
y'all's disappointment. You failed your saving throws. So she just whipped you up, no problem, and started She's making so strong. making her way towards <laughs> the inner sanctum with all of you in tow. It was delightful. You'll never been happier than I. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I suppose this is the point where we all uh, reacquaint all of you with our characters, uh, yes. just so that everybody is aware of who we are and what we's doing here. We don't have to give the entirety of our spiel again, but uh, since we did this uh, the same way last time, uh, Mr. Bitch Whistle Michael. Uh... I am Edmund Prick Hollow. Indeed. Yeah, and what weapon do you have? The Ember Giselle? Dirty. Yeah. Yes, Very. indeed. Yes. Uh, uh, Johnny? I am Timothy Lone Cactus, and the reason that I'm so sexy is because I look basically like a one-for-one one of shame. Um, <sighs> look at that beard. Yeah, <laughs> please. Mm. He, is beauty. he is great. Mm. Um, <laughs> look at my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> vigorously asserting themselves in the they're, background as always I wield a glaive, the biggest balloons i wield a glaive named greg <laughs> get him greg uh miss courtney i'm playing as jean gray ghost and i wield a crystal whip named some bitch indeed and as you will all recall i am hapolono eldritch <laughs> Follower of the lore of light, wielder of the rift bow, otherwise known as Slippy. And uh, of course, I, I have all of my favorite arrows in my vortex quiver. Mm. <laughs> uh, quiver, indeed. Indeed. And we are perfectly prepared for everybody to taste my wrath. What, what was your special arrow's name again? Uh, well, it was the clit. <laughs> that was right. I'm very deft at wielding the clit. And uh, I, it, it wreaks havoc wherever I go, because if we've learned nothing is that the lore of light has taught me that the night is dark and full of terrors and I have fucked them all. Every time you see that face, you might actually see the clip. I am indeed the clip commander. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all. <laughs> so... That is the, the coalition of, uh, for the liberation of itinerant tree dwellers. We've talked about this. Have we? I don't know. I we have. <laughs> is that the name of our group? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, that's why I'm the click commander. I'm not going to die. Take it away, Jess. <laughs> Take it. All right. So, Courtney still hauling the boys Man, two I don't in one arm, one <laughs> in the other, down the stairs towards the basement. Yes, John. <laughs> she can only is she having two under one arm and one under one, or is one on the back, or like on like a like a baby satchel? She, she, that's what she literally the... just said. You freaking yeah. Arm. So <laughs> he wants Timothy Lone Cactus and um, <laughs> yeah, I need more detail. It's, so uh, Timothy Mr. Lone Cactus hollow dick and, over here. Uh, yeah, hollow dick. Prick hollow. He's, he's really short. <laughs> Prick hollow. Um, yes, that was one got of the my mutton chops though. <gasps> Yeah. She's just God. carrying y'all lumberjack style, like two piles of wood yes. just up here. Like, yeah, yeah. Going Your butt's for it. just and out there. It's just exposed. Yeah. I'm just uh, clenched for up in her butt crack. Another pile of wood. Um, Jeepers, Mrs. Prick sure are strong. <laughs> Prick Hollow and uh, Timothy are nuts to butt right now. <laughs> time for the it's uh, not the first time and it won't be the last for the gravy baby i'm, I'm the one with the vortex quiver it's halloween all over again <laughs> god i'm off my bullshit now thank you wait oh, yes. someone's chafing my clit um, sorry i do that often so probably some bitch Courtney, is there anything you'd like to do? Because you did just grab them and start hauling them down to the basement without telling them anything. You just read this book. That is like, true. Okay, and you just yeah, no. Yards. I uh, I picked them up, and we're hauling ass to find this inner sanctum. We gotta figure out what's going on down there. Okay. So after some struggling from the boys. Uh, you, you do make it down to 
the basement and where the inner sanctum should be, there's actually a door that wasn't there before. And I'm going to see if it'll let me put this in chat or not. Uh, no. Can you share we have, it? We have chat implications. Ooh. Is it possible to share screen? Shh. If I knew how to use Zoom, yeah, absolutely. Un momento. Michael, you act like she's been on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> John, <laughs> the door looks like this. Oh, nice. Ooh. So, is this one of those non gender specific restrooms? <laughs> <laughs> Male, female, alien, whatever. It's actually the only one that will let Michael in. Just wash your goddamn hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this the one Lovecraft made? Oh, no, not oh. him. <laughs> <laughs> only black cats can use it oh no Jesus. there are no tentacles oh, on this door indeed <laughs> thank you just God. just to clarify that's tentacles unfortunate there will be a okay. moment but there's some cool dance moves on this door that is true um i'm going to just put that joke out there i'm gonna say milan melon 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 reference <laughs> You don't speak Elvish, obviously. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I barely speak English. That's <laughs> evident. Speak friend and enter. He's making a Lord of the Rings reference. And if you're not... There you go. I... Is this the Mothman's lair? <laughs> no, wait. Well, Cobra Commander. <laughs> no. Okay, can I... So... Sorry. Go for it. I was just going to ask, what do y'all want to do? You are faced with the door. Has not been here before. I'm going to dance in the pattern, starting with the one at about 10 o'clock and doing each subsequent well, uh, pattern. While Courtney is holding you? I was going to say, you're yes. still <laughs> I'm still going to try. Um, Wait, can I, I even dropped see them this? on the ground like the sacks of shit that they <laughs> <laughs> wood she said you were a lumberjack and we were oh, stacks oh. of wood Same i thing. guess that's different you know how you like so now. you guys go flap on the ground yeah. roll a little bit um, clip. my it, wood <laughs> it hurts a little um bumped your noggin bumped some other things does you're that, gonna have bruises does um blow down there break a rib what I broke a rib Hey, Prick Hollow, Pussy Willow, whatever his name is. <laughs> Prick Hollow. No. It's Pussy no, Willow. No now. broken ribs. You didn't hit uh, yourself. Hey, Gene. I have two stress already. I don't need your help. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm at one stress. I think all of you are at least one. Shane yeah, I have two. one. That's actually very accurate to life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so Michael, you're on the ground. Okay. Now, how are you going to dance? I'm going to dance. Stand. I'm going to stand up and then dance in the order, starting yep. with um, ten o'clock, and then following the lines that connect to each. Do you think you could show us? Move. Yeah. yeah. Could, are you going to do the dance? It? We we need visual. Wide angle it. So this, uh, then this, then yeah. this, then they're both down. Oh. Then they're both up. <laughs> then they're like, I can't get in the angle. <laughs> then this, then out again, and then bolt down. All aboard the sofa! <laughs> so that was my dance move. Thank you for watching. You just number them one to eight clockwise? Sure. If you want me to say that, then it would be uh, seven, uh, five, one. No. Is there eight? There are eight. Okay, sorry. Eight, <laughs> five, one, seven. Four, two, six, and then three. It's very obvious that you have never tried to entertain yourself with a crayon at a red lobster, John. <laughs> yeah, you're right. you can't I... find the path. You need to be sent home. <laughs> okay. I'm like, so <laughs> you see Prickle doing all these dances, and um... I tackle him because I think he's having a stroke. That's the one thing you don't want to do. Be strong. Go, go ahead and roll at um, battle. Done. What do oh. I roll against it? Battle as well. Yeah, it would. 
he's gonna make um uh, it's strength checks basically <laughs> yeah oh. yeah seven while they're, while they're doing this seven I, while they're doing this can i just walk up to the door and use the knocker sure um so first off shane and michael just kind of clash and since you rolled equally um you just kind of like pushing into each other at this point like trying to knock him down right at the roxbury um, <laughs> and john as timothy goes up to the door uses the knocker uh prick hollow had already finished his little dance so as you go to touch the knocker you hear a click and the door just kind of like swings open. <laughs> I did it. Leave it to John oh, to show up no. at the last minute and take credit. <laughs> this was my design. I did it. <laughs> He's the guy that's like, I didn't do any work, so can I present for credit? I love group projects. <laughs> <laughs> and as you open the door, you start hearing little It's a trap! It's like little skittering sounds. I'm going to yell it's a trap and then jump onto the ground hands over my head i i think do we have like a, a delineated run of turns that we're supposed to be doing here so that this jackass doesn't just told... scream for the next 20 minutes i guess we can go i mean i can I'll mute you if you want is a possibility uh but john since you are at the door you see um this fleshy little creature with wings it uh it is actually a maxi pad <laughs> ah! this. oh it is an abyssal chicken Ooh, and there Probably are can. four of them that you can see start coming towards the door um i would like you all to roll initiative so roll a d6 add your battle what is my motivation um <laughs> they want to peck you to death and not in a good way you said it's no. for, for battle? Yes, add your battle. Six. Eight. Okay. Four. Five. All right. So, Courtney, you would be first then in the initiative order. Uh, you see Timothy start to back up away from the door and this little demonic chicken thing pop out. You, you don't see how many there are at this point. Just the one okay. has come through the door. Um, let's see. Uh, can I attack the scary chicken from hell? Yes, you can. Great. Let's do that because I want it to go away. Oh, crap. <laughs> How do I stop sharing my screen unless you guys want to continue to look uh, at the it's, demon it's chicken? In the upper portion in the options uh, or the share screen at the bottom. Okay. There you go. So question. Yes. Do I get any kind of cool bonuses because I am from the path of beasts? Can I control the chicken? Or you absolutely I... can try yeah. to you control the gotta... chicken. Um, so we're playing the beat I... the cock challenge? I will let you roll with advantage so you can roll twice and take the higher number. You're going to roll your d6 and add your wizard. Okay, well, I rolled a six the first time, so I think we're going to stick with that. <laughs> um, and wizard is one, so that would be a seven. Okay, so uh, you call towards the beast and you go, here, here little chicken. <laughs> and the chicken looks at you with its little crazy ma that's just teeth and weird tongue Sexy. and starts like waddling over to you and just kind of sits in front of you um and as he's doing that you see another chicken behind him you should give it a coming name. out of the door gene you should name it they they like to be personalized oh this one's name is popeyes Popeyes. All right. So Popeyes <laughs> is sitting at your feet, currently awaiting your command. Um, and that brings us to John. So you are kind of in front of the door, but backed up against the wall adjacent from it, if that's words I've been drinking. Uh, 
So you are facing the door. You know that there are more chickens coming. You see the second one come out of the doorway. What would you like to do? Can I open up a doorway to the Taco Bell on Rural and Mill in Tempe, Arizona, underneath the second chicken? <laughs> Roll uh, and <laughs> add your wizard. It is a five. Okay. So as you're doing your little Dr. Strange hand motions to open up this portal, uh, you see it flicker underneath the chicken and then sputter to a close. It doesn't actually open. Um, It seems like the magic is starting to be wonky again and not quite work. And so you do take a point of stress. All right. And can I also take a step behind Jean Grey Ghost at this point? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, that would be Michael because you rolled a five. Okay. Um, seeing the apparent uh, doorway not open up, I'm going to use mirrors uh, to cast a fire bolt to roast the second chicken. All right, go ahead and roll and add your wizard modifier. That is a six. All right, so you summon a mirror and out of it pops a fireball, hits the chicken successfully and it just bursts into a ball of flame, much like your turkey will do if you uh, try to Fry it frozen. So don't do that, kids. <laughs> I, I knew the preamble to this story, so I'm excited to hear the end of it. <laughs> I'm going to call this turkey chicken sandwich. Okay, it's, so chicken it's a chicken, sandwich. So not, I don't not care. A, is I, I've a... identified it as a turkey. <laughs> you just chicken. assumed its species? <laughs> well, it's a chicken sandwich now, but, so that's all that matters to me. We can, there's no rules here. We can say whatever the hell we want. We can I see. cast polymorph to make it a turkey and then turn it into a chicken sandwich. <laughs> no, you, you cannot have two actions. I can't cast, yeah, <laughs> twice. Oh, goodness. His wish is that he wants more wishes. <laughs> but yes, chicken sandwich is currently a, a ball of flame. Um, Just it like does... I like it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it does uh, take two points of damage. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just rewatch the special edition or something, my friend? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, my, I'm literally thinking about rewatching because every holiday season, it's uh, it feels appropriate to watch those anyway. Well, I was having do... that debate with my team the other day. I said the Lord of the Rings are Christmas movies. You watch them at Christmas time, like I think, ho- yeah. like late year holiday, like Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year. I only watched Die Hard and Lethal Weapon. I mean, that's fair. Those are the appropriate ones. Those are very appropriate Christmas movies. I agree. Mm-hmm. Right. Shane, it's now your turn. Well, considering that I fancy myself to be the heart of this team, <laughs> and uh, I do hate to watch other individuals struggle, whilst I am extracting a bottle of lubricant from my voluminous robes, I stroll over to Timothy Lone Cactus and put a consoling arm around him and say, you know, one in five men have problems with opening portals. It's completely understandable, my friend. It happens to all of us with age. I'm also continuing to shake up my lubricant as I'm saying these things. I just didn't think it would happen to me. I know it's terrible, but, you know, we we do what we can with what we have. And uh Speaking of which, I now begin to glide the lubricant up and down the shaft of my glorious rift bow slippy and uh, begin my approach to engage the final angry chicken. Did you give it a name? I'm about to. Which which chicken? Because there's one Courtney has mind controlled. There's Popeye. one at the door. There uh-huh. are two two that you don't see currently so you can aim at the chicken that's on fire or the one that courtney has mind controlled currently oh the the other two have not come out of the i do not know that they are there no 
Well, I mean, then there's really no point in me doing anything other than approach one in front of Courtney. No! Oh, no! Popeyes! He's got so much left to give. Not Popeyes. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get away from my cock, Shane. <laughs> so I begin to gently and delicately rub Slippy all over the angry cock Popeye. <laughs> You're just petting it with your bow? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to roll anything to pet the chicken with the bow? Yep, <laughs> you, I'm success- just, you successfully I, pet the chicken with Slippy um, because yes. Slippy has been lubed up. Some of yeah. the lube is getting on the chicken. Mm-hmm. It already looked rather grotesque. And now it's got a <laughs> yeah, uh, just... Ripping and it's ripping it's, it's, uh, like an alien. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just running just, to- like, That's what I wanted. <laughs> Everyone likes a moist chicken. All right. True. They're no good Very to you true. dry. And I've said this on many occasions. It is now the chicken's turn. Um <laughs> I'm, I'm already very stressed. I'm not trying to put myself into any dangerous situations here. <laughs> Are handling yourself with uh, with some grace. I try. So um, the f- chicken that is on fire, it's it's not dead. It has taken damage, but uh, it's it's a walking fireball at this point. <laughs> it's a Kenny thanks, Rogers roaster at this thanks point. Thanks to Michael. And so it starts walking up. Uh, I believe Michael is probably closest to it. It's not pleased with you because you uh, <laughs> set it on fire. That's so it is going fair. to yeah. attempt to peck your eyeballs out. Um, Damn it. I wish I wasn't so short. <laughs> it's going to get your mutton chops first. Not the uh, beard. Not the beard. <laughs> You're lucky. It misses with a natural one. Yes. So <laughs> it's because it's on fire it's just not quite really sure where exactly you're at there's flames it's kind of preoccupied with the pain a little bit um and just kind of pecks around your feet not actually hitting you um at this point you do also see the two other chickens come out the door uh but they are not going to be able to get close enough to any of you at this point so that brings us back to john I find bravery in my heart after, you know, being embraced uh, by who hop alone. Hop alone, no, thank you. You can <laughs> call me Eldritch, it's fine. Or happy. After happy is good enough as it is. Eldritch. And I, I take a step back and I run and I leap off of Popeye and drive my glaive down into the head of the crispy chicken. <laughs> Problem is, you might slip off of Popeye because he's real he's gonna moist. He's going to try and kill Steel. But <laughs> go ahead and roll and add a battle to it. Yeah, it's a two. <laughs> <laughs> and you get for kill stealing. You done good, kid. So, Thanks, Eldritch. <laughs> if y'all remember, if you roll equal to the amount of stress you oh, have, no. you explode in a flurry <laughs> of magic and sexy glitter. So <laughs> Timothy Lone Cactus just poof, into <laughs> glitter. Um, you are going to reanimate in um, the central atrium right atrium of the college yeah so you're not dead but you do reanimate there your stress is reset to zero um but you are gonna have to start making your way back to the group at which point i turn to the remainder of the group and i say man i didn't know he was that backed up (laughs) (laughs) that's why you gotta work it often or else it'll explode Do do i have the knowledge that i failed yes considering you're like I was in battle. Now I'm not. Huh. Also, the image that I have rolling in my head right now is that you went to jump off of the slick chicken and kind of went yes. <laughs> and then exploded. That was my next so. question. So did I? Did I actually like? Did I push off with my right foot, or did like? Did my right foot connect to the head of the of Popeye and then just slide off? And I like broke my femur and exploded. No, you don't even get the chance to like put weight on the chicken. It's just like as soon as you touch the chicken with your foot, it's just poof. Okay, last question. So in my so so I know that I failed, but 
do you think that maybe I uh, the uh, no I'll answer that myself. That's a character question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you going with this? Do you need me to know. describe the inner shame that you feel? Or... No. <laughs> yeah, Please he do. needs that. I'm going to explain that my character at this point, reanimated, doesn't feel that I completely failed. My character feels like it's just a magic chicken that transported me back to the atrium. <laughs> Whatever like, helps oh, you shit. sleep at night. Don't there. touch the chicken. <laughs> as, as Timothy's walking back, he's like, oh, fuck, I cannot touch that chicken again. I got to tell the guys, like, <laughs> do not touch the fucking chicken. Magic cock. <laughs> <laughs> So you start making your way back. Uh, that brings us to Courtney, Miss Jean Grey Ghost. <laughs> um, I go to Popeye and I kiss him on the edge of the beak and I tell him it's going to be okay. And then I use my sexy persuasion powers uh, to get him to take us um, down the hallway through the door and get his little buddies to help us out going forward. Okay, so... You would want to roll and add your sexy, but the the chicken is already mind controlled. Uh, Popeyes is so this would be a plea to the other chickens, really. Okay. Seven. Okay, so you get down, kiss Popeye on the beak. He is still covered in lubricant, so you do get a little on your lips. Is it flavored at least? I don't know, Shane. Is it flavored? Well, it's been inside of my robes for a while, so it has (laughs) a flavor. (laughs) Ah, banana and clove. Um, If you imagine what blue cheese tastes like after being rested on a pile of meat for a week. Uh, Okay. All right. So, um... Kiss him, tell him it's going to be okay. Get a weird taste in your mouth. And you're not quite sure if it's the lube or if it is because it is a demonic chicken with just yeah, like that's... weird skin. Um, and you reach out to the flaming chicken who is very just like hectic right now because he is on fire. And you see the other two chickens. Um, the other chickens do seem to be one with your idea but the the flaming chicken uh <laughs> chicken sandwich as uh, michael it, named michael him, is not having it he's still like it and reminds just me a of... ball of fire and hissing at you i'm the just other... imagining like hey it's hey okay. from moana yeah yes <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> just randomly packing things and flaming yes that's like that's canon now. He is hey hey. <laughs> All right. So you do have three chickens on your side at this point. Um, Michael, it's your turn. You you do see the chickens starting to go towards Courtney and not in like a threatening way, but the the flaming hey hey is still got crazy I... eyes and looking at you the, the man that set him on fire you hurt him the, the mirror that i am holding uh after it had shot the flame bolt i'm going to punch it saying this is going to be seven years of bad luck and sending glass shards at chicken sandwich oh no also by the way flame and hey hey <laughs> is a drink that john will be serving at his bar next week so get ready yeah <laughs> Sixty-nine dollars and sixty-nine cents. Hope it's worth the. Is that like a group indigestion? Drink that come with yeah. multiple straws. Yeah, I'm like, I'd rather <laughs> it be sixty or six dollars and you know ninety cents, but you know, cheap bastard. I, I, I am very cheap. Anyway, uh, is this like a wizard roll or? It, it would be a wizard roll. Okay. Uh, again, a uh, six. All right, so. Um, you do punch the mirror. You are now stricken with seven years of bad luck. Uh, and the glass shards go flying towards Chicken Sandwich. And he is just now a ball of flame and has shards sticking out of him. Oh. And he goes, and like <laughs> you can see the hate and the, just the craze in his eyes. Like, you motherfucker. And it, it does slowly start to fade as, as the life leaves his, his little angry body and, and he does die. 
I realize now because it's peppered with glass, I can't eat it. You could (laughs) certainly try, but it would not go well for you, I'm sure. (laughs) Not worth the seven years. What was the cost? Yeah. (laughs) Seven years of bad luck. Damn it. Well, meat's off the menu. (laughs) (laughs) Was it ever on? Truly, begin with. right? Yeah, it would, it would have been dry roasted chicken, <laughs> demon chicken, or whatever. I'm not so. sure what a demon chicken tastes like. Uh, they are from the uh, abyssal plane, I believe. I can't imagine anything from there tastes great. Yeah, I think so. Shane kind of nailed it. Probably a lot of blue cheese. I like. I'm gonna blue just cheese. Leave blue cheese it is there. delicious, John, and you're wrong. Yeah, blue cheese that's been sitting out on a pile of meat, though, that's up for debate. It's probably yeah. still fine. Yeah, it's cured. Okay. <laughs> it's cured now. <laughs> it's cured blue cheese. <laughs> I don't think you uh, understand where the blue comes from initially. Otherwise, that would bother you. <laughs> just riddled with mold. True. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that corpse there on the floor, just lying there. Okay. Yeah. On the floor so, mm-hmm. uh, fire hey hey is just smoldering on the ground. Uh, oh, no. John, you still got a, a little bit of a ways to go. You're almost caught up to him, though. Okay. Well, out of pure respect for the dead, I am going to go over and pour out a tiny dab of my lubricant to extinguish the flame and hey hey. Pour one out for my homies, as it were. <laughs> Is it flammable lubricant? Yeah, I was gonna say, wouldn't that just make it worse? No, uh, it's no. gotta be water based if he's responsible. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's important. His okay. arrow's name is Clit. Do you think he's responsible? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he understands the ways of the clit. I know how to use the clit, so obviously he's I am appropriately, trained. indeed, mm-hmm. molded by it. Yes. <laughs> At which point. Fact. I, I also will send up a small sigil that I pull out of my vortex quiver in order to give a bit of a smoke signal from the extinguished flaming mo there for uh, our, our good friend Timothy Lone Cactus to be able to find our trail as we move forward. All right, so the sigil goes, smoke signal goes up. Uh, there is another lubricated chicken, this one very burnt on the <laughs> ground. Um, but, you know, thank God for water based lubricant. Indeed. Do not use silicone based lubricant with your silicone products, fan- friends. Just don't do it. I just love this, this character arc of just <laughs> pouring a little This bit is actually a sex education video. <laughs> Oh, it's yes. not and also next turkey I will cooking. break out a banana. We will show how to <laughs> properly put on a condom. Let me this tell you, the sexy you, part of the sexy battle wizard is as yeah. sexy battle wizards. I have uh, made a point of trying to educate the populace that you always want to have a well lubricated cock. <laughs> that, that's what the kids Amen. call it. Text. Indeed. All right. So, um, you guys want to go forward? Uh, yeah. into okay we're following the cocks with my chicken babies <laughs> did yeah. you name the other two uh yeah it's popeyes kfc and churches <laughs> <laughs> got a theme here oh my goodness i love it so jean gray ghost and her little army of chickens they've got popeyes churches and kfc waddling after her with their little demon wings just one still very wet yes one still covered in lubricant and Popeyes but... they call that hottie sauce I think so <laughs> I've not had that I don't it's know. pretty good oh you haven't lived until you had hottie sauce uh, is it also water based lubricant <laughs> probably only in the bokeh <laughs> putting that <laughs> near your genitals no don't do that but what if I, I like mean, the adventure it's working if you do, let us know for science. <laughs> yeah, leave it in the comments. Yeah. Not recommended. <laughs> but if you do, still leave it in the comments. <laughs> you won't. Okay, we go forward. <laughs> okay, so Jean with the chickens. Um, 
prick hollow you following her um, yeah, yeah. marching orders oh okay um I don't know. I don't suspect the chickens all uh, like me all that much after I just killed one of their brethren. So I'm going to stay the furthest away from them. Probably in the back. Okay. Shane, you are in the middle of this uh, chicken sandwich. Indeed. I am uh, I am catching up because naturally I want to stay as close to Popeye's as I can because it's already primed for some loving. <laughs> That's Ooh. pretty sexy. Mm-hmm. So I am kind of like Night at the Roxbury, just kind of bouncing off of, you know, Popeyes as we stroll, of just doing a little bit of the, you know, <laughs> priming the handle, if you will, uh, just to ensure that everything goes well. I'm I'm sure I'm occasionally chastised by Jean Grey Ghost, who doesn't appreciate how I treat her babies. Yes, she she's keeps looking over her shoulder at you every now and then, just like gives you the look of disappointment like knock it off I have like, a, Timothy will be back soon bud you can use him when he gets back I have a doctor's note this is how I cope with anxiety it's acceptable my <laughs> stress cock so uh, John you are now back in the basement you do see a smoldering chicken outside <laughs> the door with a with um I can't little lubricant say it. sigil. With, yes, the lubricant sigil that Sir Eldritch left there for you. And I appreciate the sigil, and I know that that's the direction they're heading, and that's where I'm going to go. But as I'm passing the the burnt chicken, I say, "I thought they smelled bad <sighs> on the outside." And then I keep walking. <laughs> you walk through the door, and you do see the group about forty or so feet ahead of you (laughs) i should mention that the sigil is also in the shape of the taco bell logo which is how we know (laughs) that that's where he's following (laughs) and what i thought was a really interesting touch uh for for shane's character is that it it said live moss underneath it (laughs) (laughs) it's very detailed accurate (laughs) which uh, uh, that chicken will not (laughs) as you begin walking through the corridor towards the inner sanctum you notice it's getting progressively darker and all of a sudden it is pitch black you cannot see anything there's no light at the end of the tunnel you are all submerged in darkness i automatically reach for anything that feels slippy (laughs) Um, you you do oh. reach out and and grab Popeye's little chicken butt for a second. And you feel <laughs> it, he is still lubricated. <laughs> what a relief! Thank God. Uh, I'm glad I you're have... here, baby boy. <laughs> so since, I oh, oh go ahead, sorry. Since I have an ember, just Sally or just Sale, whatever. It's ember. I just Sally, it has, Jesse, it's, Raphael. It's, yes, that's it's, what you have. Some ember gun. It's 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 a fire gun. Since Good it's a Lord. fire gun. I'm presuming that it also radiates light in some way. Uh, so I'm going to take it out and see if it radiates light. You're going to whip it out. I'm going to whip out my fire gun. There's another chicken, I'm sure. Uh, roll. Add your, um, add your battle since it is your weapon. Five. I keep rolling threes. So you, you whip out your, your, your fire gun. And as you do, it does start to glow along the side of it and kind of like an orangey reddish color. Think like a lava lamp, that kind of glow emits from it. And um, it does light like your immediate vicinity, but it's not a lot. It's like five-ish feet maybe. And you're in the back. So Courtney and Shane cannot see. John can see it. I'm going to uh, lean over John's to John and say, oh uh, "He's not say, here yet, you jackass." Oh no! I thought he just caught up. I'm, I'm just basically there. Yeah, uh, he's just behind you guys now. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna say this is. I I can tell that orcs are nearby. <laughs> so what I, what I'm, I'm trying to be helpful. One, I I want to stay as far away from from Popeyes as I can. Uh, I think it at this current point that if I even touch them or become like get into a close proximity to any of these chickens that I will just 
vaporize again and wind back up uh, in, in, in central. Uh, but I, I'm also a little scared of the dark. So I open a portal uh, or a door to the Taco Bell on 57th Avenue in Union Hills. Uh, <laughs> the fact that you know these locations. Spent a lot of time. God. <laughs> okay. What, so, what, what do you plan to do with this? Well, I'm hoping. So my plan is that by opening the door, that the light from the Taco Bell will shine into the, the location that we are. I don't want to go through the door. I just want to open the door to let the light through, so that we can see better. Okay. Are you going to open it behind you or off to the side? Off, off to the side. You know enough that maybe you know, uh, you know, they the the people at the front of the party can you know have a better. better well. View. John, can you hold open the door so I can fall in? Mm-hmm, I sure can. I hope I can. Roll and add uh, your wizard. Well, that's going to be an eight. Okay, Whoa. so you do open a portal to the Taco Bell. You can see light coming through. Uh, it does illuminate the hallway a little bit, it's still 20 feet up about, but since it is off to the side, everything in front of that 20 feet is still pitch black um you hear orders being called out uh (laughs) and it seems like it's a taco bell from long past because they just called for an order for a mexican pizza and that doesn't exist anymore i jump in the door no (laughs) (laughs) there have been rumors that they're bringing that back though but i nothing better taco bell is dead to me until the mexican pizza comes back you heard it we here. held a, a whole movement about that. We couple. held a movement. We started <laughs> I a, a movement. I, I, yeah, I passed a movement. Yeah. <laughs> we started a movement. So. Yes, they usually give me movements. Anyway. Uh, Courtney, would this be your turn now or mine? I think it's me. Um, I would like to crack my crystal whip um, against Eldred's ass to start a fire Whoa. <laughs> in his ass <laughs> oh, it's burning <laughs> yeah because after everything he's put us through i really think well you lighting a fire under his ass you've made would... a poor choice i'm very well <laughs> lubricated <laughs> <laughs> We, we. No, I don't want to light it on him. Oh. I just want to use him as like a matchbox to strike my whip okay. to start a fire and like light a torch situation, but very careful not to hit my chicken babies. Okay, go ahead and roll yeah. add battle. Six. Okay, so you take out some bitch, aim right for Shane's ass and whoop up and it sparks. A little flame and and you get your your torch out and you got a flaming torch in your hand some bitch in the other shane it really hurts <laughs> you do you're gonna take a stress <laughs> <laughs> so you're at three i believe now <laughs> <laughs> wow well. Given that I have proven nothing, if uh, not that I am a vindictive man, <laughs> since I am oh, no. well studied in the lore of light, I steal the fire from the torch, <laughs> hold it aloft, and direct it at all three of the chickens. Oh no! We're continuing My the baby. combat. I'm rolling for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> is that something you can do i'll, I'll roll uh, I, I, i'm just assuming that we're going to be rolling for initiative in about two seconds here um, shane roll at your wizard <laughs> that's a nine oh, no! <laughs> oh shane oh my god my chickens sorry <laughs> Brittany. jean turns around to her horror as she sees the flame leave her torch, go over to Shane and he's controlling this ball of fire and sends it flying at Popeye's churches in KFC. And they 
Popeyes is unaffected by the amount of lube you put on him. <laughs> KFC and um, no! and churches do catch fire. They Again, both take clip. three damage each. Um, I yell at the top of my voice. Meats back on the menu, boys. <laughs> oh, no. At which point I turn around and snarkily say to the group, hey, I can see. <laughs> I do imagine that this does throw a good amount of light, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a decent amount. Uh, you can see the the doorway of the inner sanctum uh, about fifty feet ahead of you. <laughs> Ooh, a door. <laughs> Are they dead? No, um, but they have taken damage. So we're gonna have to roll for initiative. <laughs> or are they still well, mind controlled? Well, they're I, not. Um, <laughs> yeah, those two d- just followed of their own free will. In in oh, the, true. In the world of D and D, though, damage does, does uh, break that break yeah. mind control. So uh, Popeyes did not take damage. He is still mind controlled and still about what you're doing. But Popeyes and churches are now uh, very pissed off. So yes, go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. All of us. Yes. In that case, I am a four since I've rolled it knowing that we were going to be doing that as soon as he hit. (laughs) What do we add or is it just whatever? It is your battle. I am at a two. Six. Nine. (laughs) All right. I'm picturing a total party wipe here. (laughs) Courtney, you are first. What would you like to do? The, you have two uh, chickens that were your your friends now very angry and just making <laughs> sounds at you and biting their beaks in the air, just trying to move their wings and put out their flames. Can I pick them up and throw them at Shane? You may try. Uh, that nice is going. Fun. That's going to be a battle modifier turning the chickens into a melee weapon (laughs) five all right you uh pick up one of the chickens kind of bouncing it around in your hand uh we'll say it's churches just because and you do chuck it at Shane. Uh, Shane, go ahead and roll at your battle. You, this is a dis- dexterity save. Okay, that would be four. <clears throat> you do not make it out of the way in time. The flaming chicken does smack you in the face. You do take a point of stress. Oh, the chicken man. does fall to the ground. No longer on fire, but still very mad. Noted. All right. So Shane, you're next in the order. <laughs> well, the only reasonable response to this <laughs> is to pick the chicken back up and throw it back <laughs> at Jean Grey Ghost. <laughs> roll <a> battle. <laughs> you must roll higher than a four. That's a seven. Okay. Ooh. Ow. So you do Ooh. just like a weird game of hot <laughs> potato. Yeah. Just throw it back at Gene. Uh, Courtney, roll at your battle. This will be your deck save. Eight. You do dodge out of the way. Um, the chicken goes further down the hall. He is not on fire anymore. The, the first throw extinguished him, um, but he has now been thrown down the hallway. Uh, takes another two points of damage. <laughs> but he's still alive and kicking. He goes, Bruh! starts making his way back to y'all. Uh, that brings us to Michael. Well, um, it has been established that I do not like seeing chickens not on fire. So I'm going to light <laughs> what you said, churches. I'm going to light churches on fire. Churches is down the hall. That that is the one that got thrown. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I am establishing it now that I have a hatred for these type of chickens that are not on fire. Yeah. 
Is, so, is it churches specifically that you, you have a hatred for? That is the one that is not on fire, so that earns my ire. I gotcha. appreciate the rhyme. Well done. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, roll, add wizard. Five. Excuse me. All right. So you summon flames forth and you stare at churches and like, you're going to burn, bitch. <laughs> Throw the fireball down the hallway. It does hit churches and he takes another four points of damage. He's looking real bad. He goes, and just kind of starts wobbling around. You don't know how much longer he's going to be standing. And I say, my man. (laughs) (laughs) All right, John, it's your turn. If I'm sexy enough, can I heal somebody? I think heal would be more of a a wizard feat. Mm. (laughs) uh... How can I justify this? You're already thinking like a D and D player already. It's great. Um, You can charm the chickens or try to push persuade them to do something with sexy. I just feel bad that Eldridge got done dirty and I want to make him (laughs) so that he can fight harder. So maybe that is a charisma thing. Like I want to go like he was really nice to me earlier and he made me feel okay. Um and I want to return the favor now that he's just getting like demon chicken. Whipped and chicken thrown. Um so I, I walk over to him. Uh, and I know that he's still mad, and I, I put my hand on his shoulders, and I said, "Bitches be tripping, right?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I will allow it. Roll and add your <laughs> sexy. <laughs> uh, that's a six. Okay. Um, Shane, you can remove three stress. Bless you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I believe you are all at one currently. Uh, I think John is at zero. Oh, John's at zero. Yeah, he reset. Yes. He burst into sexy glitter. Timothy, you right. They do be tripping. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that is John's turn. That brings us back to Gene. There is... Oh, wait. The chicken didn't get to go. Let's yeah. get to the chicken. Let's get to the chicken. So... Churches, it's horny as hell. churches is waddling forward um too far away from any of you you checked him pretty hard uh but kfc is is mad and at courtney's feet uh has the, her her magic persuasion on him is no longer working so you he are the closest to him still he is flaming to, he is on fire yeah he's on fire would it be like a smoldering thing though like where it's like light flames or is he like engulfed it's light flames at this point like not quite catching but not quite getting yeah you can see the smoke starting to it's like burning embers in a a dying fire or like daffy duck in one of them old Warner brothers (laughs) cartoons um he he does succeed in pecking at your ankles courtney uh you do take a point of stress after everything you've done for them well technically she didn't do anything it was all uh popeyes because she asked popeyes to do the convincing so yeah you're really talking like someone that wants to get a chicken thrown at him (laughs) i have i have not done anything to her I defended one chicken from, or I defended her from a chicken. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, man. I never can. <laughs> so, Courtney, it is now your turn. <laughs> You've so, been ankle bit by a chicken. <laughs> At this point, there we can see another door because there's plenty of light now. Yes. Right. Do we have to address the chicken problem or can he just kind of peck at us as we go through the door? <laughs> you don't need to address the chicken problem, but they will continue to peck at you and attempt to add stress to you until you explode. That sounds like it'd be problematic. Okay, I ignore the chicken and I go through the door. Okay. She's going pacifist. So you walk up, the door is locked. 
You have to kill the chickens. The chickens like you me. also <laughs> are technically walking past another chicken in order to get to the door, right? It's yes. off, off down the hallway, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a little wobbly, though. It, it is. Uh, church is a certain bed. Oh, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you better pray. <laughs> Take me to church. <laughs> Well, I think KFC is the one that's still on fire, though. Yes, KFC is on fire. No, I just lit churches on fire. No, but... (laughs) Yes, they're... You lit churches on fire. They threw churches back and forth, putting out his flame. (laughs) So churches is not on fire. No, no, no. No, no, no. He relit him. him. Yes. You relit him? Yeah, Yeah, that was what he... He lit him down the hallway. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 So he's still on fire. There's too many chickens on fire. That, that's my goal no and, chicken left unburnt well you're gonna have a rough time with popeyes my friend that i i've given up on popeyes popeyes okay. is immune to fire well it's also just following courtney so we're because good. of the lube or i should say gene <laughs> yes so yes popeyes and churches are both on fire well uh in all of my infinite wisdom i am going to harness all of the lore of light and the energy that I have at my disposal, I have within my possession Uh-oh. the cock smoker arrow that I quickly remove from my vortex quiver, line up deftly and knock into slippy. I draw back with all of the might that I can muster and aim directly at KFC. <laughs> Roll battle. <laughs> Done. Seven. You. The cock. Bus- the cock smoker. The cock smoker. <laughs> the cock, it's the cock smoker arrow. It's important. The cock smoker arrow starts like emitting smoke from it, and you see the tip of the arrow heat up before you release, and it strikes true into kfc (laughs) he takes four damage uh he is starting to look a wee bit wobbly too but he is still standing (laughs) that brings us to michael well i already accused john of kill stealing before so i'm not gonna attack kfc i'm going to lob I'm gonna lob the mirror that I have. Just, just frisbee it. Just it chuck it. Door? Um, at churches. Okay. Go ahead and roll wizard since it's your mirrors. That is a nine. All right. So you take the mirror, lob it like a frisbee. It goes flying, cuts off the neck of no. churches. He falls to the ground. Just bloody and smoldering the mirror does keep going hits the wall and shatters and you get another seven ba- years of bad luck you are now up to 14 <laughs> i am keeping track of this <laughs> um, um john so Damn. so my my wizardry the the supreme dory stuff can i unlock doors can you can I- certainly try <laughs> why did I- we try that before Flailed around like I was a stroke victim. <laughs> I walk up to the uh, the door and I kind of look at it like I've never seen a door before. But then I, I have an idea and, and I, I squint my eyes really, really hard. And I think about all the Taco Bells that are in the world. And I use the power of that to unlock the door. Taco Bells! <laughs> it's kind of like a, like a plus ultra kind of thing. May oh the power God. of every like chalupa existing. <laughs> Taco Bell, Arizona Smash. <laughs> Roll, add your wizard mother. It's a three. Oh! <laughs> Big PP energy, my friend. <laughs> so, as you say Taco Bell, Arizona Smash, you get distracted by the thought of all of the items that Taco Bell has taken off the menu. And you start thinking about the open portal back down the way. And you're like, you know what? I could really go for a Mexican pizza right about now. You don't finish your spell and you start walking towards the, the portal that you opened earlier. You take a point of stress. 
That checks out. <laughs> um, all right. That brings us back to Courtney. You are in front of the door. You see Timothy's failed attempt to open it. There is um, one chicken left. Uh, churches, I believe, is still... No. Uh, no. I think KFC, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, KFC, KFC is but, uh, over KFC dealing with me. KFC should have been going, right? Yeah. Think it, yeah. Yeah, Churches is down. I remember I crossed him out. Uh, KFC is still standing, but looking pretty bad. Would would K, would it be KFC's turn instead of Courtney's? Oh, shit, yeah. I keep forgetting about the chickens. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel bad. They have rights, too. My they, they do. Uh, I rolled initiative My for baby. them and everything, and I keep forgetting. You clap a man on the ass cheeks, you better be prepared to deal with the consequences. <laughs> so as um, John is walking back down the hallway past KFC to get to his portal, KFC is going to attempt to peck you in the legs. <laughs> <laughs> and he does miss get fucked. by a hair. Um, <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> you, you, you feel a little bit of leg hair be plucked out of Ugh. your body it, it does sting a little and you you notice that the chicken is right there and because of your fear of this chicken you run even further down the hallway thinking it's going to <laughs> I look just back disintegrate like, you I'm like you cock <laughs> <laughs> suddenly you crave a chicken quesadilla <laughs> yes oh, God. Quesadilla, just to spite you <laughs> courtney Okay, like so do? we're at the door. Um, I'm gonna like rub my hand on the door, like really sensually, and try to seduce the door open. It's a magic door, right? <laughs> or, uh, logically a magic door. Yeah. Hell yeah. If I have to add a little dancing in there to get it to open, that's fine. <laughs> Absolutely. But... I mean, this. I had to. Who's filming it this time? <laughs> when, uh, when Popeye, the, obviously. Why the do you air think elemental he's still comes around? back? You see him poke his head around the corner with the camera, just like it's the cock camera. Somebody call for me. Um, <laughs> no, I absolutely love it because there absolutely have been parties that have attempted to seduce a door to open it. It's a thing when all that else happens. fails. Yeah. I seduce the door. I want to seduce the dragon. Boop the snooped. Uh, go ahead and roll at your sexy modifier. <laughs> Because we haven't added a sexy in a while, I feel like. <laughs> Eight. All right. So. She torques the door open. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with that. She said she would dance. So you start rubbing up on the door, <laughs> turn your back up to it and start twerking on the door. And you do hear a, a click uh, <laughs> as the door unlocks. There you go. <laughs> Fuck me. She uh, cleared it. Cl <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> clarifying question: Does the sound of the door clicking take me out of my trance of going to get my Mexican pizza, or am I just dead set on getting my treat? Right now, you are far enough away from the door that you don't hear the okay, click. Okay, so I'm just gonna go get a treat. <laughs> Funny thing is, is that both you and the door have wood. Accurate. Checks out. What are you going to order from the Taco Bell? Oh, I'm actually, I'm kind of in the mood for like three soft shell supreme tacos. I'm going to get a Mexican pizza and then a uh, spicy potato uh, burrito. And I'm going to bring that back with me with, uh, with fire. And uh, what was the, the sauce that didn't exist? It doesn't exist anymore, but it exists in our world. Uh, Diablo? Uh, Diablo. Yes. Diablo sauce, please. You're All actually right, making me sauce. hungry. So I kind of hate you. <laughs> So oh, you go, you order your treats, you come back, treats in hand, lots of sauce. I share it evenly amongst the group, but they don't get only only Eldritch gets to use the uh, the sauce. Well, uh, I hope it's my turn. <laughs> it is. Oh, no. <laughs> so with the newly bequeathed packets of sauce that I have been given, I drizzle. <laughs> One of my delightful chalupa arrows in the Diablo sauce. <laughs> I set it alight and take aim yet again with Slippy at <sighs> KFC. <laughs> and oh, I no. exclaim to the entire corridor, 
It's about to be a combination Taco Bell, Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Roll at battle. <laughs> that would be an eight. Yes. You for- see everybody, Shane just whipping up the Diablo sauce on the Chalupa arrow, and it's just dripping and you can almost feel the heat of the diablo sauce like radiating off of it he Hell shoots yeah. um <laughs> fires at kfc and it does burst into flame and then the flame is extinguished quite quickly and you do see before you a bucket of kfc chicken <sighs> where uh, kfc the uh, abyssal demon chicken once stood Whoa. I, uh, real friends are the ones that we make along the way indeed <laughs> and i turn to timothy lone cactus and i say kiss it and send it right <laughs> hell yeah all right you guys are <laughs> no longer in combat uh the yeah. door is open what would you like to do on the way to the door i want to rip off one of the chicken legs from churches or yeah, churches, yes. And eat okay. it. Like a big old chicken leg. Like a big old chicken. <laughs> um, go ahead and I'm gonna have you roll a constitution saving throw. So that would be battle? Uh, battle's probably the closest. Okay. That is a four. So you do rip off the chicken leg and you start to eat it. And almost immediately, it doesn't quite sit with you. You start to feel your stomach rumble and it's pain, just lots of pain. You turn around very quickly away from your friends and just begin to (laughs) vomit all over the floor. The people in the Taco Bell, the portal that (laughs) Timothy opened, they can hear it. Can I throw up in the portal? You can make your way over there and I'm gonna throw try. up in the portal if you would like. Uh, <laughs> Leave no trace. So you guys watch him as he's just like waddling away. And he's short too. So he's getting just vomit all over him, all over the floor. He goes over to the Taco Bell portal and just starts vomiting all over the lobby. And since you, uh, you Timothy, as Timothy and I are still together, I turn and say, this is not the first time he's getting kicked out of a place for doing this. <laughs> and I turn and I, I walk towards the doorway, that the, the, the good, the, where we're supposed to be going. I, I walk towards Gene now. Okay. Uh, Michael, you do take a point of stress. I figured as much, yeah. <laughs> Worth it, though. What are you at now? Three? Two. Two? Okay. All right, so Timothy and Jean are at the door. I assume uh, Eldritch, you are. I'm following along. Yes. Reluctantly, mind you. I'll go. I'll do it. I'll open it. I'll go through. So you touch it. Oh yeah, real good. I asked. I asked Jean, "How did this door even get opened in the first place? I didn't. I didn't see this happen. What is this? Some magic? Yeah, it is. Girls in booty shorts over here." twerking for a doorknob <laughs> not the first time it probably won't be, won't the, be last. the last <laughs> but um, knocking on hardwood i am not ashamed to admit that i cannot twerk like i physically cannot do it and i have tried everybody I've, can you can learn i, I believe in you i've hope. watched youtube tutorials i cannot do it i have tried everything in my power to do so and i just can't well, then it must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, back on track. Uh, Gene, as you open the door, you uh, feel a slight tingle in your hand and lightning shoots out the door, hits you square in the arm and you do take a point of stress. Okay. All right. So John and Shane are right with you. They do see this happen. They do not get hit by the lightning. What would y'all like to do? That's what you get for whipping me. (laughs) Not the death of your chickens or anything like that. No. 
No. Lightning bolt. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served crispy. <laughs> Uh, at which point I uh, I will turn to uh, to Timothy and say I'm not going in there. I take Eldritch's face in my hands and I plant a big wet kiss, no tongue, on on his lips, and I say, "Remember me for for <laughs> who I am right now and not who I might become later." And then I turn around and I use the hilt of my glaive and I quickly and sharply just poke the door really scared and timidly, but hoping that I'll get it knocked open in time. <laughs> Roll <laughs> and battle. It's a two. <laughs> <laughs> what is your stress at? One. Oh. <laughs> <That's barely. laughs> like he goes up and he timidly pokes the door and just... <laughs> <laughs> so um he uh hits the door with the the hilt and it does open but not before it, you do get struck with uh the lightning and so you do take a point of stress you are now at two <laughs> but the door is open and you can see the the inner sanctum and you know it's got pillars there is an, a nice beautiful statue of what seems to be a group of fae just kind of chilling um but it is a statue they're not actually active fairies flying around um you can hear uh what sounds to be water like a fountain um you can also hear humming but you don't see the source of the humming at this point well <clears throat> let it never be said that i am not an intrepid friend so seeing what has occurred to both of my uh, party mates here, I remove an extra three bottles of assorted lubricant from my voluminous robes and proceed to douse myself to the hilt <laughs> and run through the door. Okay. So e even um, Prick Hollow turns around to see this because he just hears this... <laughs> sound oh. as uh as <laughs> eldritch starts dumping bottles of lube on his body and you just hear the <laughs> as he runs forward through they the door me. can you slide through the door <laughs> like the dude in uh watchman yes yeah. <laughs> just follow my back and slide through the door yes perfect for, for, for flavor we'll say you just slip and slide your way through um but it seems that if you don't touch the door you don't get shocked so since the door was open you just slide right through the doorway nothing happens but you are um just slowly coming to a stop at the edge of the circle of the inner sanctum and you, you do still hear the humming but you don't okay. see where it's coming from i will sit up and remark to myself Oh, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> My butt still really hurts, though. <laughs> Isn't there, like, some numbing lube of sorts? Don't you have any of that on your person? I mean, I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my fate anymore. <laughs> All right, so... Um... Y'all can see that it does seem that you can make it through the doorway without getting shocked as long as you don't touch the door. Uh, do you all follow? I timidly yep. walk yeah. the door. Okay. Michael is rubbing the vomit off of his face, follows, catches up. Life um, the start. <laughs> <Crestful>. <laughs> <laughs> um, You do start to make your way in and the humming just like gets louder and louder and that whatever it is is humming a tune you know <laughs> would y'all like to investigate further uh yeah i, I harmonize with the humming <laughs> try hard <laughs> <laughs> um roll and add your sexy nice Gonna be a six. Okay, so you do start harmonizing with the humming, and as it you're doing this, it's getting louder and louder, and all of a sudden you can see the statue, uh, 
that is depicting the Fae uh, get bright and it starts glowing. And oh, guys, these bitches like bars. Same. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, as you're seeing, the glowing gets brighter and brighter, and all of a sudden it's just a flash, and you all can't see. Once the flash is gone and your sight starts to come back to you, you see standing before you the monarch of summer, who, as Courtney read, was not supposed to be able to come back from the Feywild. And she looks at you and goes, ah, thank you for releasing me. I do really appreciate it. Now, unfortunately, you all will have to die. And she snaps her fingers and hurls a purple bolt of energy at you, Tim Timothy. Go ahead and roll a dexterity save. So add your battle. Damn bitches be fucking tripping. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got an eight. And I do say that out loud. <laughs> bitches be tripping and then you just like dodge out yeah, of the like, way be fucking tripping. <laughs> um the bolt does go behind you and hits one of the uh pillars so i'm gonna need you all to roll initiative <laughs> two let's do this one. seven oh five Christ. did you really roll a one yes What's your stress? Oh no, then I have zero. <laughs> Wait. You, Wait, you what? Go ball of light and you're 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 back in central, my man. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to add battle to it as well. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that that's how that worked. I'm yes, sorry. your initiative, you roll battle. Oh, okay. add your battle. Oh, I, I didn't know that I, I I'm actually a three. So. Okay. Right. Well then that would make me a three as well. I'd be an eight. Okay. Courtney with the high rolls for you're like let's do this I feel like the (laughs) google rolling has been uh, a little generous yeah shoot Michael what'd you say you got a seven I'm over here just rick rolling it's really unfortunate all right so get my book out because I'm stealing stat blocks from things (laughs) I just want to tell you how I'm feeling all right uh, so, Courtney, you are first. You see the Monarch of Summer hurl a purple bolt of energy at Timothy. It misses him, but just barely, because he is that dexterous that he was able to get out of the way. What would you like to do? Uh, can I ask her why she's trying to kill us? You can, yes. Yeah, why? What? What? What's your deal? Well, the College of Errant is a bunch of dicks and y'all locked me away in the Feywild after I helped you learn all this magic and I'm gonna take it back can I join her side yeah (laughs) if you want to you absolutely can um you're gonna have to roll persuasion so add your sexy (laughs) Four. All right. So you say, hey, I want to join your side. She looks at you and it's like, I don't think so. You oh. take a point of stress. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually do so well with, with other women, so that makes a lot of sense. I mean, points for effort. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> All right. Um, you do have a chicken under your command. I thought um, all the were dead. No, no, no. no. Popeyes. Popeyes is still thriving, man. And Popeyes. lubricated. Like me, we are both drenched in lubricant. <laughs> Popeyes is still alive. And um, usually, how we do it if you have a pet or a creature mind controlled, you can make it go on your turn as well. Okay. Can he attack her then? Because she pissed me off. Yeah. You don't want me, you janky ass bitch. Here's my um, <laughs> Chase that Popeyes. Go ahead and roll and add your wizard. Okay. 
Six. All right. So Popeye's hearing your command goes, slaps up his wings and just kind of like flies and pecks her in the eye. Um, she does Damn. take three points of damage and he's just kind of like flapping around her face, like trying to take shots at her when he can. Yeah, get him, Popeye. Holy yes. shit. Popeye can fly. They have wings, man. They do exist. You understand how physics works, <laughs> right? Well, ostriches have <laughs> wings, but they can't fly. Yeah, but the body weight of a chicken is dramatically <laughs> different from the body weight of an ostrich. He and relativistically, have... the wings on a chicken are bigger oh. than the wings on an ostrich. He doesn't have okay. a PhD in ass vortexes. He doesn't know how this works. I don't Bro. have a PhD in chicken physics either. I didn't take that class. And it, it is your turn, Mr. Prick Hollow. Uh, I'm going to hollow some pricks. Uh... Keep saying, do it, you won't. No, I'm not going to. Uh, oh God, I used a bit of glass and never mind. Urethral um, sounding. Oh God. Uh, um, I'm actually gonna. You know what? I'm gonna use my gun. I'm gonna use my fire gun for the first time. This whole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna whip it out and uh, shoot Arc. at her with my ember gun. All I've right. I've given up trying to pronounce it. In the in the words of saliva, click click boom. <laughs> Michael's got glaucoma and a Glock. Can't see shit. shit. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> All right. So it does hit her, but just barely. It kind of like glances off of her shoulder. She does take six points of damage from it still. Um, but you do take a point of stress because you barely made it. Woo! I don't know if I'm going to make it. How much stress do you have? Three. Three, okay. Uh, that I brings us to... Uh, John and Shane, do you want to rock, paper, scissors? Who goes first? I feel like Eldridge has a, has a plan. I, I may. All right. Shane, you're up. As I all too often Back do in, in these scenarios, I scream across the room at the Monarch of Summer. Hey, lady, you ever had your asshole beat by a fat man covered in lubricant? At which point, I pull out my clit, <laughs> cool. knock it firmly into Slippy, the ersatz rift bow, take aim, and fire. All right, roll, add your battle modifier. <laughs> Six. All right, so she is so shocked by what you just said to her. She is royalty, <laughs> and no one has ever said anything so just inappropriate to a royal before. It's a gift. And she is unable to dodge out of the way as um, the arrow does hit her. Um, seemingly, it didn't do a lot of damage, though. She takes two points of damage. But uh, and... you are... She did get hit with the clit and it is sticking out of her. Currently. My clit's legit. <laughs> My ember gun did three times that damage. Yeah, you, uh, you're you compensating for something there, bud. I rolled real <laughs> shitty. Oh, I'm going to throw that dice away. It's in dice gel now, but I got another. <laughs> uh, John. As she staggered, I use the only real talent that I have and I attempt to create a doorway portal under her left leg. Uh, this better be one on Guadalupe, man. Oh, no. no, actually, we're going to transport her left leg to the Taco Bell on 75th Avenue in, or 91st Avenue in Union Hills. Why do you know these places? It's too close to my house, man. <laughs> Roll and add your wizard. <laughs> Seven. All right. So <laughs> that does succeed. Uh, you open a portal real quick on her leg and close it off. It does cut off her leg. Uh, she does take six points of damage 
and um <laughs> she falls over to the the right side and uh is on the ground bleeding just cursing your name right now but her leg is gone and she is on the ground so her name is now eileen <laughs> yes <laughs> damn it <sighs> or if she attempts to get back up her name will be i hop <laughs> and i and i say to her i look down like people like you are the reason that god doesn't talk to us anymore <laughs> motherfucker i know the gods <laughs> because of your obsession with taco bell and because you pooped in the hallway that was one time <laughs> and as she finishes saying that to you she does reach out her hand um from the ground and try to throw another purple bolt of energy at you good he can be always the you tank. he can be the uh, tank <laughs> it you. does it does hit you uh, squarely in the chest. Yeah. Uh, you guys don't have hit points, so you will take stress for that. That's fine. I can handle it. Bone cactus, no! So you, you all see him get hit with the energy and kind of tumbles back a little bit, but he seems to be okay right now. Um, shakes it off. Shake it off, shake it off. I probably shouldn't the do that. going to hate... <laughs> Different song, Michael, but you're oh. you're in the right universe. Uh, Courtney, you are back in the top. Um, I scream at her, "You about to get some bitch!" And then I hit her with my crystal whip. <laughs> right on her ass cheek. Yep. Start a fire. Um, <laughs> she is prone on the ground, so there's not a whole lot she can do to get away from you go ahead and roll with advantage so roll twice and take the higher of the two adding your battle i love advantage so nine much. all right so you break out some bitch and just whoop how right across her face uh she does take three points of damage and she's looking pretty rough right now um and so she's bleeding from her face a little. She's not looking at you in a nice way. Michael here is over there in the corner going, look, my gun did more damage. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good gun. I should have used you the whole time instead of these 14 years of bad luck. And that <laughs> gun says, if only you could pronounce my name, you freaking moron. <laughs> I didn't ask you to speak. <laughs> I'm like smug right now because I, I, we're, we're fucking her up, and I know that I took her leg off. So I'm sitting there, and after she gets hit with the whip, I look at her, and since I'm doing the quips, I'm like, it's gonna be hard for you to enter a beauty pageant without a face. <laughs> so funny. Oh. <laughs> uh, Michael, it is your turn. Well, since she can't, I'm going to approach her as close as I can and just take a direct shot, pot shot right in her head, right at her face with my... Like uh, Nicolas Cage walking into a bar. Like, yeah. <laughs> Except for I think it's a two-handed gun, but I'm going to... Yeah, yeah. Just just shot, like almost a... You tilt it or no? It, I'll it tilt is... it to the side, yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It is a ranged weapon I, and not, if, not within if, ra melee dan uh, i was gonna say if you're gonna, within melee range no, you're gonna roll i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'm getting as close as i can so i can make it as accurate as as possible without like within a reach okay. why wouldn't you just hit her with the butt of the gun because that's because it's a fire shooter. gun and it's <laughs> cooler yeah, and it does three times the damage <laughs> of the clip. <laughs> Can we just leave the clip alone for a minute, okay? Yeah, it needs a break. All right, Michael, go ahead and roll. Um, would, I, would I roll at advantage since she's prone and all that? Pushing for advantage. I am. That's why I was getting as close as possible. Stop simping for advantage. How much I'll, stress do you have? I have a three. Okay. Go ahead and roll with advantage, but if um, your highest dice roll is a three without your modifier, you are going to explode. That's fine. That That's definitely reasonable. This might be it, guys. No, the highest one is a four. 
All right, what is Ooh, your? Um... So it's a six total. <laughs> the first one I rolled was a three. You're like, <laughs> oh God, God damn it! it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you take aim, and as you take aim, you see the fire, um, get brighter along the side of your gun, and it's just glowing brighter. And you do fire, and you hit her, and it only does three damage this time. Um. <laughs> It's still but, one and a half times a day. The curse of the cliff. <laughs> but it is, it is enough to kill her. So, oh! <laughs> so <laughs> Mr. Prick Hollow, how do you want to do this? Uh, execution style. Uh, I am going to have my gun at a slight like, <laughs> like gangster. Yeah, gas. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> Falling over. So, <laughs> So yeah, you do the gangster lean with, <laughs> with your gun and fire. It it does strike her right in the heart. And you can hear just the death rattle as the last breath leaves her. And um you you all feel in that moment like the magic that you guys are schooled in becomes more powerful like you can feel it before the connection was kind of weak and it was failing at some points but you you start to feel normal again and you feel like things are going back to normal and you all have saved the college errant from the monarch of summer taking her magic back yay and i exclaim in an exultant tone to all of my friends we're like a sore peter we can't be beat (laughs) And I, I look, I look to him, and I nod, and I'm smiling. I, I looked around to everyone, and I'm smiling, and I say, "I think I just found more Taco Bells in Denver." <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go to have a celebratory fake churro bites? Uh, no, I before... think we sit and meditate and try and find more Taco Bells across the continental U.S. Well, I think it's only right to go to the Taco Bell Cantina in Vegas to celebrate. True. Yes. Well, before you know we what? set off, I want to be sure that I uncork a couple more bottles of lubricant and spray it all over everyone as though we've just won a sports championship. Uh, you do. For- you shake it up. It, it sprays out like a bottle of champagne all over everybody. You are all now covered in lube. Homies uh, over hose playing in the background. Popeyes <laughs> does also get sprayed again with lube and he it's becoming yeah, difficult lube. for him to fly. So he goes back to Courtney and just kind of like nuzzles against her neck sitting on her shoulder. So Popeyes is now and forever your loyal companion. He, he is your abyssal chicken pet. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I did want to say that I decided a name for my gun. Too late. Nobody cares. Okay. If you didn't get it out in the course of the quest, my friend, it's not canon. Well, well, hold on. He just he just executed a fool with it. It 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 tasted. Oh, so it's nut cannon now. (laughs) Like I feel like he can name the weapon. That it's not creative Uh, at all. I'll allow it. All (laughs) right, let's have Michael embarrass himself. What is it? Queen fucker. <laughs> what the fuck, man! Stupid. Bullshit. You should have named it another one. Bites the dust instead. Uh, I'm not creative. No, nope, too late. That. It's it's, it's queen, queen fucker. fucker. Yeah, no, it is. I'm not. I don't regret it. Hashtag well, queen fucker. <laughs> oh, cancel me, daddy. Oh, that would have been better. Can cancel I pick up my clit now? Yeah. You can pick up your clit. You good? Rip it out of her. I need it. Clean it off. Put it back in the quiver. Oh, I'm a little lube on it. Quivers. You're keeping I'm, what? I'm keeping the sheet. I'm keeping the character sheet. I'm not throwing this away. Do it. Yeah. I, I, I still have my very first character sheet. Um, I kept it. I'll keep it forever. As as an aside, uh, when your characters die, have you ever burned them? Like lit, lit the character sheet on fire? I have that not. that is something people do. I've not yet had a character die. Okay. Knock on wood. <laughs> yes, yes. Because I am very attached to my shadow sorcerer at this point. Um, if she does, I will cry right there at the table. We do have a cleric in our group that could use Revivify on me. 
uh, if, you know, he has the spell slots. But... You know, uh, I've heard that that does wonderful things for the follicles. Uh, I actually saw uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's got yes. a great fruit scent, uh, you know. Right. Yeah. But no, um, I know toxic DMs will take your character sheet and rip it up. That that's something I've heard a lot in the community, and that's a big old red flag. You you should probably never play with those people again, yeah. if if that's what happens. Yeah, no. But um, if my shadow sorcerer <laughs> does die, I do have a backup character already rolled, and I rolled really good on her stats too. Uh, so it, continue. I'm sorry. Uh, I was just gonna say it's a uh, tiefling circle of wildfire druid. Nice. I'm so stoked. I would really you, want to play her, but I don't want my sorcerer to die. Would you burn your character sheet if they the sorcerer did die? No. Okay, I love her cool. too much. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't do that in any of my characters. No. Now, if you have a dungeon master who crumples up your character sheet and lovingly pushes it into your mouth and tells you to swallow it like a good little piggy, I would do it. Is that a to- <laughs> is that a toxic DM or? I mean, if that is the relationship it. that y'all have and are comfortable with that, no. But... Okay. 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 Not saying that you know she's gonna like pee on my hand because I touched a jellyfish or anything. <laughs> not with that attitude. No, sure. not in this economy. Dude, that was fun. Yeah. An absolute blast. Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you for letting me DM for you guys. Um, there is a podcast that I follow that does D&D stuff. And one of the hosts, his name is Brill. He recently did a TikTok about what his favorite part of D&D is. And he said that his favorite part is watching people have fun with it, especially new players and seeing that moment that a player falls in love with the game. And I've experienced a little bit of that now. And yeah, it, it made me a little emotional, especially when I was talking to Shane the other day and you sent me that message and said how much fun you had because you were you were hesitant at first. It didn't seem like you were going to have fun with it, but you did. So well, thank you guys. I can be had. <laughs> sure. No, thank you for uh, for putting it together. And of course, I think, you know, this is just content that's begging to be seen. So when you get prepared with another quest for us, you can always let us know and we can Indeed. return here. I mean, if y'all wanted to roll real D&D style, I do have don't Wild Beyond the Witch Light. Mm. And Please don't tease him. I, I, I kind of would like to see Courtney play a D&D barbarian because they do some cool stuff. You you can go into a rage. Let's, let's whip up a, a little content schedule and see what happens. Sounds reasonable to me. And of course, uh, if I can steal Michael's thunder uh, or if I can uh, steal his kill, uh, you can let us know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in seeing going forward. And we'll let you decide what you find interesting. You're welcome. And also, if you enjoyed what happened here, as always, Michael has got some instructions for you. You can smash that like button, ring that bell, hit the subscribe as well, leave a comment, engage, talk to us however you can. Please. We won't even make you roll for initiative first. No, you're free to do that. It's a free action. Sorry. Much like <laughs> you, you slang. fucking noob. I am a free action. And as always, we do have <laughs> brand new episodes winging your way every lovely Monday on your preferred podcast provider app. So please be sure to check us out as we do host a glorious little show called The Disinformed Podcast, which we've got 119 episodes strong in the archives presently. So if you haven't caught us previously, you can do so now. And of course, we've also got a link tree down below that'll take you to all of our socials and all of our prior content as well, including some glorious YouTube playlists if you want to do a, a quick sous of what you're going to expect here. And of course, all of our prior After Darks, which are also delightful. And perhaps when we're playing D&D sometime, a character named Galrilla Godot may make an appearance. Ooh, Delightful times. But uh, I believe that is going to wrap things up just like a case of lupa from Broadway and McClintock. <laughs> so, for Disinformed After Dark, 
this week, I am still the beloved, benevolent, and oh-so-sensual and sticky Hapolono Eldritch. I am Timothy Lone Cactus. <laughs> What's with the eyebrows? And I am Edmund Prick Hollow of House Prick Hollow. These are my <laughs> mutton chops. And I'm Jean Grey Ghost. And I am Marie Donald. Bless you all for being here. Let me hit reset. Hold on. Thank you all for coming. Because and... the clit was officially stimulated. <laughs> and zippity zoop, we're out of here. Bye.